element of x minus sine of x over x cubed. So what happens here is we plug in 0 minus the sine of 0 over 0 cubed. We get 0 minus 0 over 0, which is just 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. That's not a satisfactory uh, response for a finding a limit. So what we'll do is we'll apply L. Hopital's rule. We're actually going to have to do it several times here. So to do that, we'll take the derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom. So we can try plugging it in again. We get 1 minus cosine of 0 is 1 over 0, uh, 3 times 0 squared. So we get 0 over 0. All right, so then um, uh, that doesn't work. So we'll take the derivative of a derivative again. Derivative of 0 is 1, 0. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we get negative, negative. It becomes just positive sine x. And then we get 6x. Try plugging in 0 again. We get sine of 0 over 6 times 0 is 0 over 0. It's probably the last time we'll have to do it because we'll just have a constant on the bottom here. Right? Take 0 again, or take the derivative of the top and then the derivative of the bottom again. So we end up with cosine of x over 6. Plug in 0. Cosine of 0 is 1 over 6. And that's it. Okay, it's a little bit long-winded there, but we finally got the answer. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching, and you have yourself a great day.